three, two, one. Welcome to the podcast, Living by Oak Values. My name is Robert, and I host this podcast with my friend Gary, where we dive deep and share meaningful stories and discuss the values that help shape our lives. We will explore how we use these values to guide us through our life, shaping our decisions, relationships, and raising our kids. We are embracing the journey of personal growth and navigating our own path. We are committed to living by these values and passing them on to our children. We are thrilled to have you here and can't wait to share our latest episodes. Whether you're a long-time listener or now discovering us, welcome. Feel free to introduce yourself in the comments below and check us out at northmancoaching.com. You're welcome to join our community, the Northman Legacy Crew, and let us know topics you're most interested in hearing about. Sign up with your email for behind the scenes sneak peeks and exciting updates. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Happy listening. All right, in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the word accountability. And that is a very big word. Actually, it's one of the bigger words in our, our box of values. And the one quote that I found that I really like is from President Harry Truman. The box stops here. Um, and they said that this was displayed on his desk in the Oval Office. It signifies his acceptance for personal responsibility for the decisions and policies of his administration. How do you feel about that, Gary? I um, I love that. So I love it if it was not at the end of his term that he did this. Oh, I have a feeling it might have been. I have a feeling it might have been. So, but I do love it if it was midterm or beginning of term or whenever, you know, stuff where shit went sideways to you know, the buck stops here. This is our problem. My administration, this is our problem. We started this. We, we did this. We are taking accountability. So I do love it. No matter what, no matter where it's from, I love it. It would have been nice if it was not at the end of the term, which I feel it might have been. Gotcha. So, Rob, why, why is accountability so important? In professional and your personal relationships, being accountable, it helps you build trust with other people better. I feel that it lets like constantly demonstrating accountability. People seem to trust you more, whether it's at home or at work. In different settings, when I hold myself accountable, people like seeing that and they seem to trust me more in in doing my job, that type of deal. That is, that is one way that I noticed holding myself more accountable that I saw people started trusting me more. How about you? As they, as they should trust you more, because if you are holding yourself accountable, you know, if your buck stops here, if you are taking accountability for the things that you've done wrong and right i see no reason why i should not trust a man of your caliber mm. um i don't think it's that odd that people are trusting you more now that you're being accountable and i i echo what you just said i i didn't always take accountability in my life it was always someone else's fault but now i, I take accountability because i know that if something went wrong that's my fault or my doing that i can hold myself accountable if it's something that i know you did then i can accept what you've done but it's hard. I can't really hold you accountable. That's something that you have to do. This word kind of ties in with last week's word of acceptance. Accountability and acceptance are kind of eh, a little, a little mingled together because I, I, I would be very quick to hold other people accountable for their actions and not hold myself accountable for my actions. <laughs> so yeah, they do tie in together because. Um, and correct me if you think I'm wrong on this. I have no facts whatsoever for this, but I feel like accountability and acceptance come into play because I can hold myself accountable. Everything else, I can either accept it or not accept it. I technically cannot hold you accountable. Okay. For, wait, for doing push-ups. For doing push-ups. So what I can call you and you can say, yep, I did my push-ups. Or you say, no, I didn't do my push-ups. And what can I honestly do to you to make you feel accountable. So you're you're delving into uh, a, a very good topic of as a friend or even as a manager, how do you hold your 
coworker, or not coworkers, but how do you hold your subordinates or how do you hold your friends accountable for their actions when they, they need to be held accountable? The first thing I know, it, it is very hard to hold somebody else accountable for their work without having clear expectations of what needs to be done. Agree. It has to well, be. Is that holding them accountable? Well, so if my expectations are for you to get up in the morning and do your push-ups, those are my expectations of you. Correct. But how do I hold you accountable? Would say is give constructive feedback or and provide adequate resources and give constructive feedback at the same time. It's one of those two would be next, would be my next good feedback when they don't accomplish it or good feedback when they do accomplish it. But you also need to provide the resource for that person to do it. So I think I'd, I'd, I'd put two in there together. So you didn't do your push-ups today. How do I positively reinforce that? That's okay, Rob. There's always tomorrow. It doesn't always have to be a positive reward. Um, constructive feedback, as long as it's like timely, it's not personally judging, I guess. I would say as long as it's good feedback. All right, so then give me an example of an area anywhere. I, I don't want to do examples. Yep. Yeah. I don't think that you can honestly hold me accountable is what I'm getting at. I mean, and even if it meant that our well, friendship you, ended or, yeah. or my employment with you ended, still not holding me accountable. Well, there is a part. So you fire me. Yeah, it is a part of self-accountability. That person, it, or I need to have a self-accountability because sooner or later, you're right. Mm -hmm. That accountability from you is only going to go so far. I mean, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So I, I honestly feel like there, there only is self-accountability and everything else is expectations. So I can give you clear expectations of what I expect and I, I can tell you I'm going to hold you accountable, but I'm just looking for you to meet the expectations that I'm setting. Mm. And I can only hold myself accountable to make sure that you have what you need to complete that job. Self-accountability, it, it, it doesn't promote personal growth and it definitely, it builds trust. So nothing wrong with it, but you have to, under, I think it's a matter of understanding that you need to set clear expectations for those in your life and that you can only hold yourself accountable. And that, that actually goes right with a lot of other things as far as self-control. You can only control yep. you. Yep. I, I can't control you, Rob. I, yep. I can't hold you accountable either. I can control me. I can keep myself accountable. That's it. And that is why you see people trusting you more because you are holding yourself accountable. That is a huge thing in growth. Yeah. It's funny because well, a lot of, I, I feel like a lot of people, and I can be looking in the mirror at my old, at my older, the older version of me, but a, a lot of people are very quick to blame. Mm. And, you know, it can include my job. I feel like where I work, everybody's out to blame the next guy. It's always mm. somebody else's fault. Yeah. I think before that anybody's taught what accountability is, something has gone wrong. It's instantly your fault. Oh, that's because of this. Oh, it's because of that. It's not my fault. It's, this is what happened to me because the world happened to me right now. I'm a victim. But it's because of this, this, and that. Like, I am not accountable right now. Mm -hmm. I'm passing the buck. Yeah. All right, listeners. If you have a good example of a time when you were holding yourself accountable and it really made a significant difference in your personal life or even your professional life, drop us a comment down below. Tell us about it. Or if you want to dive deeper into this topic, reach out to us, Gary at NorthmanCoaching.com or Robert at NorthmanCoaching.com for your free consultation. That is a wrap for today's episode. And of course, thank you all for listening. We are so glad you could join us today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to subscribe to our podcast, Living by Oak Values. And if you feel generous, leave us a review. It really helps us out and keeps these conversations going. For more updates and exclusive content, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, or even visit our site, NorthmanCoaching.com. We'll be back next week with another exciting episode that you don't want to miss. Until then, keep discussing your values, embracing the journey, take care, 
and stay open.